You may feel the urge, but is it ever okay to quit your job on the spot? Despite the growing number of employees who are doing it, there are some important factors to consider before doing something you may regret later. Here with the story is WSJ Work Family columnist Sue Schellenbarger. Hi, Sue. Of the employers you spoke with who noted this trend of workers quitting immediately and walking out the door, what reasons did those workers give for leaving, and were they mostly millennials? largely millennials, and they were employees who felt little sense of attachment to their employers. Um, maybe they were disappointed in the training or in their prospects for promotion. Um, their older workers, too, though, were participating to some extent. These are people who took uh, pay cutbacks and heavier workloads during the recession and haven't really seen any relief since then. All right, so, Sue, some people may be surprised to learn that at-will employment laws state employers and employees alike can terminate their relationship at any time without notice. And these laws exist in almost all states, correct, Sue? That's right. We often hear that the employer can terminate us at any time without notice, but we don't realize employees have the same right. Um, employers often do write contracts, in fact, with employees or set written policies to prevent them from leaving without notice if, if they can do so. Right. So this two-week notice period that we are all familiar with is just a widely accepted standard of workplace conduct, right? It, right. It's a standard of professional conduct that pretty much everyone agrees is, is the best thing to do. And since it's so widely accepted, if you don't give it, you really run the risk of burning bridges, correct? So, I mean, you certainly won't be able to get a good reference from a job that you walk out of. It doesn't leave a good taste in the employer's mouth. In fact, if you get up and walk out, leave a post-it note uh, or whatever, it may be the only thing anybody remembers about you, regardless of how well you performed. And you spoke with some people who say they regret leaving their jobs that way? Uh, yes, actually, I did. And very often, they were people who had looked back on maybe their first job out of college, and they quit without notice, and they really regretted it immediately because it left them wondering, first of all, about the employer and what their boss was thinking, and second, about themselves. Why did they lack the sort of character, as one woman put it, to stick in there and make it work? Uh, and she never quit without notice again. Do you do, though, point out to some scenarios where it is okay to quit on the spot and head for the door, right, Sue? I think if you're being abused by an employer and there's just no prospect of standing your ground and, and turning that around, or of course if the boss is doing something illegal and you're getting pulled in, probably okay to walk out. Um, if there's a conflict of interest, if you have proprietary information um, or you're going to work for a competitor or both, uh, oftentimes employer and employee will agree, preferably by mutual agreement, that the job ends that day, but the employee should still be paid for two weeks' notice. Now, there are some rare cases where you may be offered an amazing job, the job of your dreams, but your new employer says you have to start tomorrow. How do you get out of the situation without leaving bad blood? Very, very hard for the conscientious employee. Um, one case I discovered in my reporting, the woman immediately, as soon as she gave notice and said, look, I'm sorry, it's show up Monday or don't show up at all, huge pay raise, giant promotion. She then turned her attention to making everything as good for her employer as she could. She found potential candidates to replace her. She came back on her own time to help train her replacement. She made clear to her employer that she really did have the employer's interest at heart, but this was just too good to pass up. Can't argue with that. She put in her own time to help train someone. All right. Thank you so much, Sue Schellenbarger, Thanks, for Sam. that.